This is a very sad day uh, for this community. Uh, today, um, we witnessed the, the sentencing of a young man who, uh, prior to his conviction and his involvement in the deaths of three extraordinary people, uh, had had speeding tickets in his lifetime. Uh, he received a sentence today of 30 years incarceration, suspend all but 12 years. Uh, it's a very significant sentence for a young man of his age. Um, that is the top of the Maryland sentencing guidelines, and I think the sentence given by Judge McCormick today was absolutely appropriate. Uh, I want to acknowledge uh, the always extraordinary work of the Montgomery County Police Department in the Accident Reconstruction Unit who worked on this case. You know, when these accidents occur and this accident took place on February the 27th uh, of 2016, they work on these cases for months before they announce and, and decide what the charges are going to be. Uh, in this case, uh, the defendant uh, has pled guilty to three counts of auto manslaughter. Each one of those counts carried a maximum penalty of 10 years. Uh, Judge McCormick gave the maximum sentence, suspending all but four years in each of those cases, but ran them consecutive, which gives us the 12-year sentence. Uh, there had been some foreshadowing to this event in this young man's life. While he didn't have a criminal record for a more substantive uh, criminal offenses, uh, there was a pattern of activity. Christina Rodriguez, who handled this case magnificently on, on behalf of the state in this matter, pointed it out. This is a young man who had a proclivity uh, for speeding. I mean, uh, recklessness, the endangerment of other people. He'd had uh, four or five different speeding tickets over each of the years. Uh, he had, had had prior accidents. And on this occasion, it's, it's almost hard to believe, but in this case, the police estimate for speed in this instance was that this young man was traveling at 115 miles an hour, only seconds before this crash. Uh, his explanation that he gave to the police that evening on the scene uh, was not consistent with their findings in terms of the reconstruction. His explanation about his own course of conduct was inconsistent with what the witnesses observed before the impact. And what happened is this community, uh, the De, De Maceo family, was robbed of a golden family and, and, and almost robbed of two golden children. Uh, Thomas, the 18-year-old son who died, uh, was the top student at one of Montgomery County's Jewel High Schools, uh, Whitman High School. Uh, his sister, Helena, who survives, uh, is on that same trajectory. She is a magnificent young woman, and she's now orphaned. She has no brother, she has no mother, she has no father, and, and she is, is struggling uh, to, to rebuild her life, supported by a magnificent family. I, I think many of you were in court today, and you heard from members of the uh, family, uh, extraordinarily gifted and, and, and accomplished individuals who are making contributions all the time to Montgomery County. Uh, I will tell you, many of you have asked if the family would come down here today and speak. I will tell you, um, they have uh, declined that request. Uh, they indicated that they, are, they really are trying to minimize the impact on Helena. They are asking for the, the, their privacy to be respected and they are trying to create a scenario or an environment in which Helena can grow up as a normal child. That is their only objective. The reason that they're not standing here is because they don't want images of the family being here, the last images that, that, that Helena can turn to on the evening news because they love this child, they are trying to raise this child, and this child has suffered an enormous loss, and they don't want to compound that. Uh, the family was very magnanimous in terms of wanting to make sure that the Montgomery County Police, the Montgomery County School System, the Montgomery County State's Attorney's Office, I will tell you in the privacy of my office, they've indicated everyone in Montgomery County that they've had contact with has been magnificent to this family and given them every level of support they could have ever imagined. And that is from the police, the schools, as well as my own office, uh, and, and in particular uh, from Christina.